My name is Kain the Tech Pro and welcome to another class, or another brief lesson on data structures for programmers and today we are going to be talking about skip lists. Well, I think that possibly you may have heard of this uh, data structure skip list and or maybe you may not have heard of it. It's an interesting data structure that you actually need to have in your belt. The reason is because it's an efficient data structure that has a such complexity of order of log n and insert of order of log n. It's a data structure that maintains different levels of linked lists. So think of a skip list as a linked list, but then we now create additional layers on top. So let's, let me explain it. Well, I can remind you to subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed and also feel free to leave me a comment if there are some observations you have. So actually, the, the link list is this base link list that we call it level, let's call it level, I don't like this color, so let me take some other color. So let's call it level zero, L zero. So now this is our link list. And then this is the base list. In fact, every other list that we may have derived from this list. So basically, we kind of have only one linked list. So how do we do with creating the levels? Let's now answer these questions I've raised here. First, how do we determine number of levels? In this case, we have four levels, one, two, three, four. And to determine number of levels, there is a formula uh, we use. Of, of number of levels, which is the same as number of lists. In this case, we have four lists. The first list has how many items? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The list L0 has nine items. List L1, let me just label it as well. L1 has five items. L2 has three items and L L3 has two items. So as I mentioned, think of it as a skip list has only one single link list, but then we need to create additional lists on top of this link list. So where do we get elements to place on this additional link list? For instance, we have L1. Uh, where do we get element to place in there? Before, before I do that, number of levels in a link list or number of lists it depends on the number of items in a linked list. In this case, we have nine items. And uh, there is a formula that says log to base one over P of N. So in this case, there's a fixed probability that is normally used. So now I, 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 I don't think I should talk so much about this formula. But so this is a fixed probability that has to do with this particular link list. Um, so P can maybe one over two, P is equal to one over two or one over four. No, I don't like, let me just write in a very clear way. I don't, so let's undo all of this. So P has a value of one over two, sometimes one over four, okay? So this is a theory, I don't want you to worry so much. How do we uh, determine the number of levels? Okay, I've mentioned the, uh, this is log to base one over P of A. Now, how do we determine items in the levels? So here, how do we determine number of levels? This is log to base one over P of A. How then do we determine the levels? What do we place in this link list? You guessed right. We place the particular elements at the base link list. So here we have also, we have 14. Here we have 14 as well. Here we have 14 as well. So it's as easy as that. Here we have 34. And here we have 50. Here we have 50. Here we have 66. Here we have 79. One thing you need to bear in mind is that this list is sorted. So the smallest item is at the first is the first item in all the levels of this link list. Okay. So think of it as now we are creating an express lane because we have a normal lane in this in this case having several stops. 
but now I have also express lanes. So for instance, if you want to go without stopping uh, to, to location of location 79, you simply take the express lane and that way it shortens the distance. That is why we have a such complexity to be order of log n. So let's now see. Assuming now we want to insert, you want to insert an item into this link, please. Let's say we want to insert, let's say 60, for example. So let's say inserts. How do we insert 60? The first step is starts at the highest level. So we start at this point. We are trying to insert 60. So from this place, we have two directions we can go. We can either go uh, in this direction or we can go up down to the next level. Now, we have something called look ahead, which means that you look at the next, at the next item or the next element in the list, in the particular list, to check if it's greater than or equal to, if it's greater than or less than, the number of item, uh, the item you want to insert. So in this case, we are looking at item 79. Is it greater than or less than 60? In this case, it's greater than 60. Therefore, we cannot move to the direction of 79. We need to pop down. So we stop here and we pop down in this place. So at this point, again, we try to insert 60 at this point, and we now choose a direction to go. Do we go this way or this way? So if we look at this direction, we can see that 50 at this point is less than 70, is less than 60. Therefore, we are going to, we are going to go in this direction. So here we cannot go. So we go in this direction, and that takes us to this place. Okay, so to this place. So we have our 60 here at this point. Again, from here we also do a look ahead at this point. We have 79, so we can't go because it's greater than. So we need to pop down to this point. We still have 60. We look at this point. Uh, 66 is greater than 60, so we can't go here. So we need to pop down to the normal lane. Okay, so at this point, we now move gradually, we move this way, there's normal lane now, and we now find a place we can move ahead, we now find a place to insert 60. So maybe I can just mark it as, maybe I'll mark it as white, use this color. So at this point, we can insert 60 in this position, okay? So that is basically how insertion works, and Actually, search goes in the same way. So if you are going to search, you have a key. And the same thing, maybe you have a key of 66 or 42. Let's take 42. Again, you try to go down, go this way. I see that 79 is greater than 42. So you don't go this way, but you pop down to the next level in the list. And so on and so forth. So once you come here uh, looking for 42, you can look this direction, you can see that 50 is greater than 42, so you can go in that direction. You pop down, and there you have 42. So this is the this is how link list works. Uh, I'd like to thank you for viewing, and also I'd like to recommend that you, maybe you can spend some time to, I mean skip list, you can spend some time to, to review the video again. Maybe if you want to, you can actually read more maybe find some textbook and read a little more about skip list. So I'm going to stop here and also like to remind you to subscribe and leave me a comment if there's something you, you would like me to do.